what is your question? What is bothering you? Um, so, you know, I've, I've had this uh, stu stu stuttering issue for a long time. Um, Sabbath, saboteur, saturin, sacrilege, sacrosant, cellophane, oh this is a hard one for me, censorious. Number three. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we just started, right? Yeah. I went to work yesterday. A lot of times, if my coworkers are talking about something and I wanted to say something, but I just would never say anything in the past because I didn't want to join in and have them kind of look at me if I made a mistake or. If well, because at work I also had a lot of moments where I would open up my mouth to say something and it didn't flow and people would look at me and they wait. And then it's like, I don't say anything. <laughs> so we are in a procedure area and the nurse has to give a, it's called a time out before every procedure. So we have to go through the patient name, their birthday, why they're there, their lab work in front of like four or five people in the room. Everybody's quiet, it's just me talking. <laughs> and so it went pretty good, except I told you I had one issue with that medication. one medication. But nobody cared. I moved along, they moved along, and I also did have to use the phone a few times, and that went okay. And I realized yesterday I was more proactive in doing things with my speech because I was comfortable. I was confident in myself and that was really nice to not be quiet. <laughs> when I moved here from Ukraine with my mom, I was around eight years old and I remember when I was in Ukraine, I was scared by a really big dog when I was little and I was six or seven. My mom thinks that that's when everything started and I remember the exact moment, like the exact street I was on, the house, it's kind of crazy but yes. I actually went to a psychologist for this. <laughs> Well, and I told her this and she gave me exercises to kind of get rid of this bad image. She's like, oh, imagine this dog in your head. And then she said, try to make it small, like things like that. Well, this was recently. This was uh. about a year ago. Yeah. So anyways, when we moved from Ukraine to America, I don't recall having any stuttering problems in elementary school. I remember just trying to learn English and being busy with that. My mom, she didn't know very much English, so at home I was speaking Russian with her. And so it was kind of a back and forth game because I was speaking with her in Russian I was in school learning English. I came home, English note cards, English words. I did notice a problem in middle school when we had to go around the room and read in front of the teacher, every student. And I remember I would get stuck on S words, C, U, and kids are not nice in that age and I was made fun of for that so and I believe I that's when I became a harsh critic of myself was because I knew the things I was going to stutter on and I knew they were coming and I couldn't avoid that like my name I had to say that my biggest fear was roll call in school because like the teacher would read the name and I would have to correct her because 
they don't know how to say my full name. <laughs> so, <laughs> and every day I would get this anxiety, like the first day of school was, I was afraid of because I would always get so nervous that I would stutter in front of my classmates. How did the teacher react? You made a mistake, how did she react? They were all very nice to me. I never had issues with a teacher being like, oh, why are you saying things like that or in a weird way? I was very picky with my words almost because I was afraid of them. So I just felt very locked. I guess. And my mom noticed a change when I was in, I believe, middle school. And she made me go to speech therapy in school. <laughs> yeah. And so I remember every other day for lunch, we would have a lunch period from 12 to 1230, let's say. And all of my friends would go have lunch and I would go with my speech therapist and have lunch with her and work on my stuttering. <laughs> she never gave me anything useful. Well, she basically told me I talked too fast and she tried to slow my speech down. And I remember sitting in the speech therapy room and I remember she timed me and she played that back for me, my speech and how quick I was going. And in my head, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this sounds like so slow because it just didn't sound normal, I guess. Basically, I went to her my middle school years and that obviously didn't help. And I moved on to high school. And in high school, I didn't go to any speech therapy, but I still had this issue and I feel like in high school I was more worrisome about it because there was, the kids are older now and they're more mean if you act weird or say things that are weird. And in high school I had to give many speeches in front of kids and that was like a nightmare because I was like the night before I would stay up and I would get so nervous and it's like I almost wanted to call into school because I was afraid to give a speech and I also had joined a dance team in high school when I was there so I clearly remember an uh, incident where so there are four levels of girls, freshman to senior, and we were, I was a junior at that time, and we were giving a goodbye speech for the seniors that were leaving in front of a camera, and we all had to go around and say why we were thankful for those seniors and what they have done for us throughout the process. And I remember when it came to my turn, I just got blocked, like, I just got stuck, I couldn't say anything, and <laughs> they had to stop the video for me and to go back around and do it because then I felt so embarrassed and so nervous. And also, I remember when I was a senior on that dance team, the news crew was coming to interview us, us seniors on the dance team. And I remember clearly thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I hope they don't pick me to go in front of the camera because I'm gonna, I can't do it. So I tried to hide in the corner. Right. Okay. So I think anyway. that that's why dancing was a big part of my life because I didn't have to speak when I was doing it. And that was very comfortable for me. So from high school, I went to a uh, university and I went for nursing. I still had issues. I was very afraid to speak on the phone. I clearly remember first day of college and we had to go around, introduce ourselves. And in any class, you go around and introduce yourself and say where you're from. And that was still like the worst part ever for me. I was afraid. <laughs> I was very quiet in college and high school. I think that was a big thing in my head. I was always thinking what other people were thinking about me. I didn't 
raise my hands in school. I wasn't the first person to raise my hand or involve myself. And it was very frustrating because if I had questions in class, I was afraid to ask them because I just didn't want to sound weird to my classmates. So a lot of times what I would do is at the end of class, I would ask my teacher individually a one-to-one -one with her because I didn't want other people to hear if I made a mistake. So I found you on YouTube. It was probably a month ago. I didn't believe it at first, of, of course, course, because I'm like three days stuttering, there's no way. And <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I've stuttered my whole life. How can three days make it go away? And so I was looking at all the success stories from all the other kids and some kids had a worse problem than me even and at their third day success story they spoke perfectly they didn't make any mistakes and I was like there's no way there's no way that this works <laughs> there's no way <laughs> and I remember I watched so many videos from different countries, even people who English is not their first language, they spoke perfectly. That's crazy to me, I was so in shock. <laughs> I would go to work every day and I would come home and I would watch all these videos online. <laughs> and I think that gave me a lot of hope because I saw all these kids and I said, well, if they can do it, then why can't I? And so I remember I emailed you, I believe, and then I found you on Skype. <laughs> and I was still skeptical because I was like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> and I finally said to myself, if I never try this, I'm going to regret it. And yeah, and so I tried and the first day, I do have to say, I got a lot of information that I didn't know. It was very simple information, but I just never thought about it before. I was still having some blocks. I forced myself to do things and go out and socialize with people. <laughs> Second day went well. I made the first phone call with you and I was really nervous. <laughs> I remember dialing the number and this would happen to me a lot of times of people I don't know and I would get really bad anxiety and my hands are sweaty and when I made that call and it went smooth I was like oh okay that wasn't bad. <laughs> Overall I feel like the course is very helpful and it's very simple. People who stutter all think we all have an issue in our brain or we weren't made the right way or we're missing something, but we just were not taught how to speak the correct way. I think if you are having an issue with stuttering, it's not all in your head. You are not crazy. That's what I thought when I had this problem and it was very depressing at times because in my mind I had so much to say in a situation and I didn't say it. I couldn't say it. I was always afraid. The first day of the course you will get a lot of information that is very new and it could be confusing a little bit because all of our lives we have been thinking something else. In my head I thought it was this huge extravagant thing that I would have to put myself through but it wasn't. <laughs> the second day you have to push yourself to make those first steps like making a phone call and to believe in yourself that you will be okay and you will get through this because if you don't go out and try to use your machine you will not be successful essentially. I feel confident in my speech. The problem words <laughs> that I had before, 
I know I learned them correctly and I learned where to emphasize and I learned to give myself time, most important, in between words. That was a big problem I had was I was trying to go, 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 go and then I would stumble and I would get so nervous and but I realized I will still make mistakes, everybody does, but I have to adjust to my norms in the situation. Speaking is fun and enjoyable and every day that's what all people do is people want to speak, people want information from you. And thank you so much Anna for helping me to learn the new skills that I learned over the past three days. It was very simple information, but to me it was brand new. And I definitely feel more comfortable in my element. I can say whatever is on my mind. I don't have to keep quiet and think, oh, what is that person gonna think of me? Am I weird if I stumble or make a mistake? So I definitely want to say thank you to you and Vermont for helping me. And I will, I know I will be successful in my journey. You are successful already. Yes, yeah, are. <laughs> That's true. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Take care. Lots bye of bye. love to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.